Alrighty, I'm going to go over this problem, which is from Stuart Calculus, 8th edition, Early Transcendental, section 2.2, number 31. Here we're trying to find an infinite limit, and let's see what we have here. We have the limit as x approaches 5 from the right. Limit x approaches 5 from the right of x plus 1 divided by x minus 5. What I'm going to do is essentially plot points. So um, I'm going to plot points, and what I want to do is I want to plot points where I'm finding numbers that are to the right of 5. So we're coming from the right. Now notice if I put in... If we put in x equals 5, we get 5 plus 1 over 5 minus 5, which makes zero, 6 over 0. All right, now 6 divided by 0 is undefined. We know that. But also, there's more to it. When you have, after plugging in the number x is approaching, when you have zero in the denominator and a non-zero number in the numerator, that's when we start looking for an infinite limit. And the infinite limits, if we sketch the graph, correspond to a vertical asymptote. So <clears throat> it seems uh, maybe there's issues with this method, but more or less that's what we do is we plug in some numbers. And the reason why I think this is acceptable is because there's, to just plot points, why that's acceptable is because we also, we know that we have reason to believe that when you have a form where you have a non-zero number in the numerator and a zero in the denominator, that form is going to lead to an infinite limit. And I, and I think that really what I just have to be careful with is making sure that I'm picking numbers that are actually to the right of five. So 6 is to the right of 5, and I get 6 plus 1 over 6 minus 5, and that gives 7 over 2. Well, it's a positive number. So if I already know that, um, that I'm going to have an infinite limit, which the form 6 over 0 indicates, that might be enough because it's positive, and so therefore uh, I see I'm going to get positive infinity, or I think I am, uh, but let's put in 5.1. 5.1 5 .1 plus 1 over 5.1 minus 5 is what? Well, just to sort of make things easier, I'm going to estimate and say 5.1 plus 1 is around 6. It's, it's like 5 plus 1. The denominator is 0.1. That makes 60. If I put in 5.01 for x, I'm going to get what? If I put that in there, 5.01 plus 1 is around 6. Divided by 0.01, that's around 600. Etc. I'm, I'm sort of thinking I, I have a, I see something going on here, that I see a pattern here, that this, the numerator is going to be around 6, and I'm going to get, in this case, 6,000, because the denominator is going to be 0 0.001. What do I need to convince myself? It looks like it's getting bigger and bigger as x gets closer to 5. What's getting bigger and bigger? Y is. Y is getting bigger in magnitude and it's positive. Therefore, I am going to conclude that I can make y as great as I want. I can make it as big as I want, great as I want, by making x close as necessarily or sufficiently close to 5 sufficiently close to 5. So therefore, I'm going to write down infinity and declare victory. By the way, if we use some pre-calculus skills, we should be able to sketch the graph. And let me see if I can just, without ruining everything and confusing everything, let's see if I can do that quickly. We can look at it and actually The problem is that I don't have enough space with the scale here. But if I look at this, I think I can 
give you an idea what the graph is, but that's not even the question here. But it's definitely related. One, two, three, four, five. Here's five. There's a vertical asymptote. And what we just showed is as we approach five from the right, I'm going to get positive infinity. We also, by doing some things we'll learn later, but from pre-calculus, we know that, uh, um, let me just go ahead and just sketch the graph. So it's going to look something like, um, like what I'm showing here. So, uh, That's what it's going to look like. It's sort of maybe, the question is, how do you get that? Well, that's not what we're doing in this video. But I just wanted to point out that the limit as x approaches 5 from the right, um, that limit, <clears throat> that, that limit of infinity, that infinite limit, corresponds to this vertical asymptote. And in fact, writing that infinite limit is sort of, in some ways, it's just restating, it's a rewording of the statement, there's a vertical asymptote, x equals 5. It's, it's, a, it's the same thing uh, as this right here. But here I just have the right-hand side. And, uh, all right, so I guess I will stop there. Goodbye.